So we're just having a little break here on the river. We've got our guests there. They've been here for the last few days and they've absolutely nailed it with barbel, chub. I think they've got 35 chub between them and, um, and canking. And they're just getting their last bit in before this storm arrives. You can see at the moment everything's, the trees are still, everything's calm calm before the storm don't know I don't know how bad it's going to be actually the uh, the weather seems to have changed a little bit in the fact that yeah it's still going to be windy but uh, the amount of rainfall seems to have changed and uh, maybe when I was expecting maybe a proper autumn flood we might just get a bit of a high river so uh, anyway but yeah let's have a little catch up on the week or the last few days okay then have a look at this river so it's definitely the colours definitely dropped out in recent days. We've still got the real good flow on all the stretches, and obviously, I think with the storm that's uh, that's coming, we're going to see some much higher water. However, what was clear from last week's rise was that the um, the water table is obviously quite low because the fish uh, the the river dropped. Um, very quickly like two meters in 24 hours i think it dropped so um it's obviously the water table's low so those you know it's, it is when it rises it's dropping off quick and i think looking at the forecast um for the next couple of days i don't think this storm is going to be backed up with much and i think you know, i fully expect us to be fishing again on friday um albeit on a high river and a colored river but um i think the difference will be uh last week we had the rise quick rise high high river fish fed on that and then we had a sudden drop in temperature in air temperature overnight and i think that just caught up the river just just mirrored that and the water temperature dropped quickly and uh, i think that sort of knocked the barbel sport on the head a little bit it was still barbel coming out but it just wasn't as prolific as we'd expect for this time of year and um, we had our first match on the river on the weekend and uh, which i'll come on to in a minute but that you know the barbel never really fed on that you know there was old ones caught i caught two there was lots of people caught two barbel and maybe or maybe three or four small ones but not proper um you know what i'd expect you know uh, barbel weight in a match like that so uh, certainly something sort of knocked it on the head late last week but certainly the last few days with these guys here they've caught plenty of barbel and obviously chub as well and um even though the barbel didn't feed, everything else has been feeding. You know, these they're still, you know, out of town. You know, all all, all on the wild stretches. There's plenty of dace, chub, roach, perch. Um, just all species are in play at the moment. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick quick temperature reading just to give you that information. Um, and I think I say that I think that was the main problem last week was that the um, the sudden drop in temperature. You know, the air temperature water temperature followed it and as we know fish don't like that so um yeah just looking now we'll give it a second just to settle down with 13.2 it, i took it the other day it was 13.7 so it's sort of like holding that steady level now so um yeah 13.4 so yeah 13.4 that's 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 an average temperature for this time of year and that's sort of mirroring the the air temperatures you know it's been as warm as yesterday when the sun was out it was as warm as sort of like 18 degrees but Generally, when the clouds out, it's sort of 14, 15 degrees. So, um, yeah, what you'd expect this time of year. So, what's happened? So, we had our first match on the weekend in Hereford. Uh, this was the Riverwide Charity Shield, uh, the, the sort of curtain raiser to our match fishing season. And uh, we had a brilliant match, basically. We had, um, I think we averaged uh, about £25 per angler. Uh, over the whole match which is just incredible fishing and although I say barbel didn't really feed there was no big barbel weights as such but there was lots of weights of chub roach perch um, the roach fishing out of town was, was was incredible and that really does indicate that we're going to get um, you know a good autumn winter um, for those of you who don't know we basically around Hereford we get uh, this winter migration of fish where the fish just seem to come to the town centre and around and depending on how how cold it goes depends on how tightly they pack into the town but um, yeah it's just uh, the next two or three months are just epic generally and it looks the indications are it's going to be the same uh, the match was won by uh, Charlie Gooch brilliant angler from Loughborough uh, he drew in the town section just above the Victoria Bridge and caught 64 pounds of chub and dace 
and um, lots of and, and a few other bits and pieces. He caught some big chub, but lots of small chub. Uh, had a great day's fishing. And then there was uh, a 61 pounds. Hadrian Whittle had 61 pounds. That was made up of uh, of perch and roach and dace, and then bleak later on. Um, and then I think Spud Murphy had 59 pounds. It was a 55. It was just you know top. I didn't. I was uh, sixth with 48 pounds, and I had just a, a brilliant mixed bag. It was like I had two barbel on feeder, two big chub on feeder, and a few smaller ones. And then I caught loads of roach, and I caught a big perch. Even caught a hybrid, uh, which is just you know very rare on the river. So yeah, just it just everything indicates like everything's coming together, and we're going to see we're, we're going to see large numbers of fish and great winter catches. Um, so that was that was the match, and uh, I say a great competition, and uh, everyone was just afterwards. You could just tell everyone was just really like excited for the winter ahead. So that was all good. And then obviously we've been on the river this week, and the, everything's settled down. The water temperature settled down, as I said, and I think you know the barbel have had a feed. The colour's starting to go out of the water a bit now. Um, it'll probably be back in tomorrow after this storm, but. Um, as the colours dropped out, the fishing settled down really well. And these guys have caught plenty of barbel, uh, and I think that's all we need now. If we have settled settled conditions, we'll catch barbel. That said, it's that time of year now where I think now, even if we do get right up and down river, if it rises and falls, um, I think we'll still catch now. I think it's just it's always the same in October. The barbel wants to feed. Um, if the colour's right, the chub fishing is just as incredible as it's been all summer. The difference is now is they're sort of packing on that autumn weight and, the, and you know, the, the chub are sort of, you know, that were three and a half pounds in the summer are now getting into the four pound plus category. And some of the float fish, especially here we have here, when you catch on waggler and stick float, uh, just brilliant fun. So, um, yeah, I think all species are in play. Um, we're on the sort of upper middle river here. We're, we're sort of just below Hay on Y. So, um this is you know this sort of is, is affected by the colder weather but the barbel here is still feeding strong and the chub fishing is brilliant i say hereford speaks for itself it's just all species in play and everything's going on down there and then down below hereford i know there were some guys uh, a stretch that i fish at ingston they were catching a lot of barbel there last week and early this week so um yeah it's just the best time to be on this river uh, as for game species i mean there'll be a few salmon moving around now there was a couple caught at the top of the river uh monday i think and i have seen a few salmon when i've been around you know it's they'll, they will be moving around um there's not lots but if, if you're if, if you want a salmon fish it's all obviously all fly fishing now this time of year it is worth having a go when it drops away i'd say it's just about coming right now i'd be tempted to have a go today um the trout fishing i see they were catching some lovely trout up at uh, craig lynn and that sort of area on the weekend and uh you know this is this is coming right for it now and uh, so until it rises again so uh, i'd expect you know just i say it's just a brilliant time of year, riv- time of year to be on the river so tactics wise um for your barbel you know it's, it's starting with these flows it's harder to catch them on float at the moment uh, and it will get harder as, it, as the water temperature cools down we'll we'll do less of that but the feeder fishing lead fishing you know it's basically your usual suspects pellets and meter scoring you know better than anything um boilers as well uh, but we've caught fish on maggots this week for the first time this is on the you know sort of middle uh, middle upper river just below hay on y and um you know we're catching on maggots because there's less dace up here but around hereford town center at the moment it's almost you know you're just getting pestered by little fish on maggots i did catch a barbel on lobworm on a half a lobworm on the weekend because that gets you know the dace and bits tend to leave that alone uh so it's worth having some worms in the bag with you and then if you're sort of you know if you're trotting this is like hemp and caster time of year if you've got a hemp and caster that'll catch you everything bunches of maggots and then maybe a few bits of meat to if you getting trying to get through the nuisance fish or worms to get at perch things like that um like i say we have this migration to hereford town center uh from autumn onwards and we have some great fishing and um, and don't forget obviously that we you know we we guide and we coach people i've become more this time of year we tend to sort of become more of a coach than a guide really it's more sort of a lot of the match anglers want sort of guidance on their on their you know improving certain techniques like bolognese fishing and stick float fishing and things like that but um but listen, we, you know, we're lucky that we've got fishing right from now, right through till March, the end of the season. So if it's something you're interested in, get in touch and uh, we can uh, get, point you in the direction and, and, you know, maybe improve your float skills or maybe turn you into a champion angler. You know, let's, uh, that's what we're here for. Um, so if you're out this week, um, 
just go with an open mind all species are in play and uh, just enjoy it because as i say the days are getting shorter now and it won't be long before it's getting colder so get out there enjoy it and tight lines